Hi, I'm Christina and this is a book review video on Small Pleasures by Claire Chambers. So, I was initially interested in reading this book as it was long listed for the Women's Prize for Fiction this year. And I've been slowly working my way through that list, reading the books that interest me. And this is the fourth one that I've read. I've also read Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan, Lustre by Raven Liliani, and Piranesi by Susanna Clarke. And I have book review videos on all of those, so I will link those down below just in case you'd like to hear my thoughts on those too. So, this is a historical fiction novel and it's set in the 1950s in the south of England. It's the year 1957 and we meet our main character, Jean. She is a 39-year-old journalist who works at a small local newspaper and she lives with her mother who is in poor health. One day, the newspaper receives a letter from a woman who claims she had a virgin birth and then Jean starts to investigate this story. And in doing so, she gets very friendly with this family who consists of Gretchen, the mother, the child in question, Margaret, and her new husband, Howard. So I quite enjoyed this story. It was a very gentle, quiet kind of story. And I quite like that about it. So this is a very slow paced story, which is why I referred to it as a quiet, gentle kind of story. And I did enjoy my time with this one. There aren't any big twists or massive things that happen. It is a look at normal, everyday people and domestic life. And we spend a lot of time with our main character, Jean, who is very lonely and that is, it's looking at the small pleasures of her life. So before she met this family, she had the little things in her life that pleased her and then as soon as she met these people and she was building a relationship with all of them individually and as a family too she kind of opened up her world to just more people more social interactions and love and friendship and it was really nice to see how that went and then to see as the story is investigated to see whether margaret is the product of a virgin birth they go through some tests, they do medical tests, obviously, in the 50s. And I obviously don't want to say anything about spoilers or anything like that because it would ruin it for you. But I will say, in terms of it being a quiet story, it was quite an explosive ending for me. It came completely out of left field. We were going along at a very gentle pace and then near the end it was like, boom, boom, two big things. And I will say I did predict the ending in the sense of I thought this is probably where it's going to go and it is where it went but I still enjoyed my time with it but then the ending that I would say is more explosive it really kind of cranked it up a notch for me and I think it made it a much more memorable book for me I think had it just ended otherwise in a different way I probably wouldn't remember too much about this book in the coming months or the coming years but the way it ended has left an impression on me for the better and I have seen other people's reviews and they very much did not like the ending and um, so I definitely think maybe it's a bit of a marmite ending for people I personally liked it I thought it was very cleverly done and at the end I went oh <laughs> and that's always a good thing I think um, in a book that can surprise you in that way. I was going through the book thinking there aren't going to be many, many surprises in this at all. I can see where this is going, but still enjoying my time with it. And then something that did surprise me happened. And I just thought it was a nice, quiet kind of read. It took me quite a long time to read this book, uh, but I have been very, very busy, so that's not really the book's fault. I think overall, I'm gonna give this one three stars. I enjoy my time with it, but it isn't going to be a new favourite. It's a good read. And if you enjoy reading books, especially historical fiction books set in like the 1950s in England, I think you'd like it. If you like to see kind of a family dynamic and how a family maybe unfolds over time or all of these different parts of the relationships. And there is a lot of emphasis on mother-daughter relationships in this too, with Jean and her mother, and then of course with Gretchen and her daughter, Margaret. And I will say I didn't really connect with the mother-daughter relationships in the sense that it's very different from my relationship from my mother, but I like that they spent a lot of time with that. I thought that was very interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one three stars. It, it was a good read. 
I enjoyed it. So if you have read this book, definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I would love to chat to you about it. Or if you fancy reading it now, definitely let me know that too. So thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more of me talking about books. I'll link some more of my book review videos down below just in case you're interested. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.